In this video we're going to look at how to create a simple background map, or base map as MapMate calls it. The mapping part of MapMate is nearly all controlled from the file menu. If we click on the file menu you can see there are various options here to create new maps. You can also open existing maps and quite a few of the other um, things on here are to do with the mapping part of the program. If we go to open a map before we do anything else, if you've just started with a brand new copy of MapMate, you'll probably find that you don't have any maps listed in your dataset. But you can click on this drop down and look at all maps, and this will show you that MapMate does in fact have some maps as part of the standard package. Most of them work at country level. You've got various different versions of a map of Great Britain, and the UK ones show Britain and Ireland. Some of them have grid squares, some of them have the county boundaries and so on. So for doing maps of national distribution, you, you have maps set up. However, most of us are probably working at county level, and to set up a county base map, you have to do that specifically for the county that you're interested in. But it's very quick and easy to do. Back into the file menu, go to new map, and this time we want the base map wizard. The base map is simply the background map showing the county boundary and grid lines over which you will put dots for your species records at a later stage. So the first thing to do is to choose the county you're working in, and usually it's best to go for the vice county for BSBI purposes. I'm going to use VC22, which is Berkshire for this example. In the second box here, you can usually leave all the ticks as they are. MapMate suggests what it thinks will be the best combination for the map that you're creating. However, if you scroll up to the top of this list, you may want to make some choices about the top three here. Now in Berkshire, a coastline doesn't exist, so um, that's not actually an issue for me, but I'll leave it ticked anyway. But the top two here, you can choose whether to show the modern county or administrative boundaries, and or the vice county boundaries. Now we, we definitely do want the vice county boundary for this map, but I'm going to untick the modern counties. We could have both on the same map, but um, they will just add to the complication of the map, and for the purpose of this example, all I want to do is have the vice county boundary on my map. As a result of the choices we've made here, MapMate creates a name for the map, but if you want to change that name, you can just type over it, delete what's there, and call it whatever you want but for the moment we'll leave this as it is. One thing that's worth noticing about these names is that if your map is intended to be a base map, it is useful to actually call it a base map as part of the title, and you must do that with a capital B and a capital M. That will make sure that the base map is listed in MapMate's lists of base maps when you come to create an atlas over the top of it at a later stage. So we can OK this. MapMate creates a map very quickly for us, and here we have a map of Berkshire with the various grid lines over the top of it. It's an intelligent map in the sense that as you move the cursor around it, MapMate knows where you are, and if we look at the bottom left hand side of the screen here, it's actually showing us what the grid reference is, and the coordinates, and the county and vice county. If you can't see any of those on your copy of MapMate, the thing to do is to take your cursor down to this grey bar at the bottom of the screen, right-click on it, and make sure that these things are ticked that, if you want to show them, so the admin area and the vice county. The grid reference should, should be showing anyway without you having to do anything. So that's our base map ready to go. It's not showing any records at the moment, of course. We have to create an atlas map to do that, and that will be covered in the next video. If you want to close down this base map, you can go File, Close, and then to open it again, of course, it's File, Open, and we do now have a map listed in this data set, and it will open from there. Alternatively, the most recent maps that you've used should be listed when you go to the file menu, and you can just click on it from there as well. Having created your map, if it's not quite right for your purposes and you want to do something different, the easiest thing to do is to just delete the one you've just created and then recreate it all over again. That's usually a quicker way of doing things than trying to edit something that you've already set up. You also have an option to save a copy of the map under a different name. 
So that's it for the base map, and if you look at the next video, we'll go through the process of setting up dots over the top of it.